Welcome back, fellow gamer. So today I want to talk to you about the future of From the Vault sets. So I was actually just building out a deck that I'm going to be taking with me this weekend, and I was flipping through my cards and I came across the From the Vault lore section, and it honestly just struck me. I looked at the foil, I'm like, oh man, I really wish they wouldn't have this foiling anymore. And then I was like, I hope the foiling for the Masterpiece series is going to be better. And then it dawned on me, well, they're going to be doing a Masterpiece set with every set release, that's for standard. What niche does the From the Vault set fill? And I'm kind of thinking, I'm like, well, you can throw in like low powered cards that need a reprint, but where's the excitement in that? Where's the excitement in getting cards that were probably best suited for these new Masterpiece sets? And that got me thinking, well, if if it no longer fills that special niche of, get, uh, niche, sorry, of getting reprints into the hands of collectors, then it's essentially a pointless set now. Unless, of course, they really change the way they do from the vault sets. The last few years have been, you know, pretty lackluster with a few notable cards that, that are the exception. But all in all, the cards that are getting people really excited have been the Zendikar Expeditions and now the Kaladesh Inventions. So my question is, why would I want to invest money in a From the Vault when I can take that money and put that towards one or two Masterpiece cards? If, if I'm allocating my money for Magic elsewhere, that's where it would go, to be quite frank. It wouldn't go into a From the Vault set. From all we've heard is that the new Masterpiece printings, they're going to have a nice foiling process and they're going to have that second foiling process where it's kind of, it's same, same, but different. <laughs> It's not going to be exactly like From the Vault foiling, and it's going to be um, some sort of hybrid between the From the Vault foiling and normal set foiling. So the pictures that we've actually seen are, are quite nice. So with that said, like, is a From the Vault product really needed anymore? Maybe, you know, take that out of rotation. We have a lot of releases now, and just focus on making the Masterpiece series that much better. Because honestly, From the Vault, like I haven't been excited for From the Vault in quite some time. I don't know about you. I'd, I'd like to know your opinion. Uh, do you think that there is a, a spot for From the Vault? What kind of cards would you like to see printed in these From the Vault sets? Uh, ideally, it looks like the high-powered reprints are going to be in these Masterpiece sets. So I don't think we'll be seeing them in From the Vault. Maybe this is the opportunity to do away with From the Vault. It started out great, but... Now it seems like it causes more negative sentiment than it's really worth to release these things. Maybe I'm wrong. I would love to know. Let me know your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. If you'd like to see more, click on one of the two videos that are there or click on show more in the description below to see when and what we upload as well as when we stream. And if you need an update on what exactly we're going to be streaming that week, don't be shy to hit us up in the comments or reach out to us on Twitter. We'll be more than happy to chat. <laughs> Until next time, good gaming.